Today, I'm going to show you how to create Madame Leota's Seance Elixir, inspired by the Haunted Mansion ride. The things we'll need to create Madame Leota's Seance Elixir is one glass bottle, and I got this one at Hobby Lobby, and I fell in love with the shape and the size of it. It's this thin, round bottle that I feel like mimics her crystal ball really nicely, and I think it'll be really fun to use for this potion. We are going to be using some rubbing alcohol, but if you don't want to use rubbing alcohol, you could also use distilled water with just a tiny bit of glycerin. I'm going to be using the Deep Sky Blue Color Shift Mica Powder, some black food coloring. We're going to use a couple glow-in-the-dark items, so I have some glow-in-the-dark hot glue sticks as well as some glow-in-the-dark pendant beads. We're going to use a silver chain, and we'll need some pliers for that. I'm swapping the cork out with a rubber one, and that is a number two black rubber cork. We'll be using some black satin cording. And we're going to need a hot glue gun, a funnel for filling, a stir stick, as well as scissors. And finally, we will need our label printed on sticker paper, and the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. Would you like a chance to win a monthly potion bottle? Then consider supporting me over on Patreon. All of my patrons have a chance to win a monthly potion bottle. Patreon at your thing? No worries. You can become a member here on YouTube, and you'll be able to unlock exclusive icons and emojis to use in the comment section. Link is in the description down below. The first thing we're going to do with this bottle is get rid of this cork because we're using alcohol. I want to use a rubber cork. It gives a better seal. It also helps with evaporation. If you have any questions about potion bottles, tips and tricks, I'll put a link to that video up above here. But we're going to go ahead and make our black mixture. Now, I already took one drop of black food coloring and mixed it with some alcohol because we're going for a very light gray. Go ahead and use the funnel here just because it's such a tight opening. So it looks really dark purple here, which most black food coloring is either blue or purple or green. It really doesn't end up ever being a pure black, and that's just because that's how it goes. So see, so far it's not crazy dark. I know it's hard to see on your guys' end. So we're going to add some alcohol. Okay, and I think that's all we're gonna add in here because we're gonna add some more in here and we're gonna mix our mica powder up just so that you guys can see the color shift a little quicker than just shaking it up. This is purely for camera purposes. If you're doing this on your own, by all means, fill this up to the level you want it to be and then add your blue mica powder and then just stir or shake it up and then it will settle and you'll get your color shift. But it is kind of fun to watch it swirl and add in on camera when we do it in a separate container. All right, I'm gonna bring this a little closer here and we're gonna add some of our mica powder. And I love that this one is like a tealy blue with some green iridescent shimmers in there. I feel like it's really gonna give us a good quality for like a similar color to what Madame Leota's ball looks like on the Haunted Mansion ride. All right, now that we have our blue mica powder in here, we're going to add it to our seance elixir. That swirls in there so pretty so the green blue color will overtake the gray and then when it settles it'll be back to that purpley gray color like I said I feel like this is just such a nice little nod to Madame Leota's crystal ball now I've talked about this in other videos as well as in my tips and tricks but I highly recommend that you make sure that the neck of this bottle is super dry before you try to go cork it up otherwise your cork is just going to want to pop right out And then 
it really does help to just kind of rub your cork and get some of that smooth coating off and kind of help rough it up. Because then it kind of gives something to grab onto to really seal your cork into the neck of the bottle. So now we've got a little bit of a roughed up edge. You can see the difference between the shinier side and the side we touched. And we're going to cork this up. And I like to kind of twist it a little bit too, just to really get it locked in there. All right, and now we're all sealed up. So at this point, we're going to add our label. And I went around the outside edge with a matching marker, which happens to be the five below set I've showed you guys before. And it's a cool gray color and it ended up matching the edge of this pretty darn well. Right, so I have peeled the backing paper off of our sticker paper here. And this stuck down in not a great position here, so I'm just peeling this off. You really can only peel it off for the first couple minutes, and then it adheres pretty darn well, and it becomes very hard to remove. You have to remove it then, like a label that's on a jar of spaghetti or something like that, where it doesn't come off super easy. All right, I'm trying to line that up with the center there. This is not easy to do from behind a camera. That's why I always struggle with it slightly. And I'm just making sure that it seems fairly straight. And it's a little tilted, I think. Okay, I think that's good as far as that goes. Let me make sure it looks even on here. Okay, I'm gonna stick that down. And when I made this label, I, I wanted it to look like a plaque you might find along the way in the Haunted Mansion ride. So I kind of gave it like a stone vibe. We added a little Madame Leota face nod there and then the actual label I'll bring it up so you guys can see I put Madame Leota's whole saying from the ride on there serpents and spiders tail of a rat call in the spirits wherever they're at wrap on a table it's time to respond send us a message from somewhere beyond goblins and ghoulies from last Halloween Awaken the spirits with your tambourine. Creepies and crawlies, toads in a pond, let there be music from regions beyond. Wizards and witches, wherever you dwell, give us a hint by ringing a bell. And then I have my CNCC apothecary on there. So I was just trying to give some good nods to the ride. I know the movie just came out. I actually haven't seen the new movie yet. I actually really like the movie that came out, oh, I don't even know how many years ago now, with Eddie Murphy. I thought that one was a pretty good one. But the Haunted Mansion is by far one of my favorite rides at Disney World. I've not made it out to the Disneyland one yet, but I just love it. And I thought it'd be really fun to make a potion that is related to the Haunted Mansion. So now that we have our sticker on and we're all sealed up and good to go, we're going to add our cording here. Again, to learn how to wrap a bottle, please see my tips and tricks video. Now that it, we're all wrapped up, we're going to work on our chain detail. So I picked up these glow-in-the-dark beads from Hobby Lobby, and I thought they'd be really cool to just kind of add a glowing element. Because there's so many glow elements on the Haunted Mansion ride, I felt like we had to have something that glows in the dark, and I thought these beads, as well as the 
hot glue drips would be perfect for that. Okay, so all I did was take the little lobster claw off of the end of this chain. And we're going to attach one of our glow-in-the-dark beads. All right, and we've got our glow-in-the-dark one here. And basically, we're going to tie this on. I know that sounds crazy to tie the chain, but truthfully, it's going to work just fine. And once I have everything locked into place, it's not going to move. So we're going to tie this in here, and I want this to be high enough that it doesn't, like, impede us reading the label. And then we're just going to kind of take this around in all different directions. I want it to kind of look like random chains that might be around ghosts, things like that, but I just thought it would add a nice touch. So now that we have that wrapped, I'm going to add the other bead down here. Okay, now that this one's attached, I'm going to Going to loosen one of these chains and we're going to wrap it around a few times just to kind of tighten everything up. Now that I have these set the way I want, I have my hot glue gun over here heating up. And we're going to start to add our little glow-in-the-dark drips. All right, now that we have all of our little glow-in-the-dark embellishments with the beads and our drips, I think we are done. Let's get those beautiful swirls going here. And there you have it, Madame Leota's Seance Elixir. This will be a great addition to our potion and prop collection we're making along the way, or something fun to have out for Halloween. If you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.